Join us today for some major decluttering motivation. I've compiled all of the decluttering videos from the last year of my mom and I decluttering my parents' home. And if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button to join my channel. Making progress. Wow, it's dirty up here. Decluttering is, is painful. It's rewarding when it's done, but it's a painful process. We've decluttered my mom's kitchen before. Well, it's basically the same, but I can see that I can move some more stuff out and then I'll have more room for food because we end up putting food all over the countertop and all that. This way I can put all the food, see how it's all like crammed in there. I can... <laughs> <laughs> right, but I do have to mention that this is your only food storage. Yes. You don't have a big no food pantry. There's no food anywhere else in the and house. And we're also storing stuff up here with yeah. the food, so and it makes it hard. Yes. Start with up there. Yes. Okay, here we go. So that's a tag on it, so that means it's never been used. This comes with the <laughs> oven, so I don't know what it is. Remove rack before using oven, so I did that. <laughs> For two level cooks, so you've never used that. No, I don't it know. It sells the do tag on it, and you this oven's at least 10 years old. Removed for oh. oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. This is a large. I use that. You use this? Yes, I do. I use it for pies and different things. So I'm gonna put the cooking. stuff we're keeping over in this pile. Okay, okay. I would never say start splitting your stuff up, but because you only use these when you're having a big party, Mama. yeah, with all the other party stuff, so I put it with the party stuff. Wow, it's dirty up here. I'm this saying, will go here. Put yes. this with your decorative fancy yes. party stuff because you'll never climb up right. there. Right, I'll never find, find it. it back there. What made me want to look at that cupboard again is this bowl. I love it. I think it's cool. I've used it maybe three or four times in 30 years because I don't really make big giant salads for a lot of people. And I have other bowls that I use. This is inconvenient to get it out and it's also just not necessary. So I am going to declutter this. And are you you're, sure? You already have one like okay. it so I won't offer it yeah. to you. We are going to also get rid of this rack device that we have absolutely no idea what it's for. Don't even think about it. I don't know how to use it, so. Just don't think about it no, too much. It's gone. It's this I use all the time okay. for cakes and cupcakes. So. Right, I'll put this with this in the garage with the, when we have parties. I want to know about this, because I've, I've absolutely, I've never seen this. I'm going to keep. But yeah. I'm just questioning why though. But it's hard to come across big containers like this. It's not though. It doesn't even seal. It does. Boom. No, it doesn't. <laughs> don't make me go buy another one because that's what I'll do. <laughs> I really want you to think about Please it. Please don't get rid of me. I really want you to tell me when's the last time you, number one, made a round cake. You don't remember? Uh-uh. It's because she's getting old. No, it's because you didn't do it. I've never used these, so I don't care. I can get rid of this. I'm absolutely shocked by how much we end up getting rid of by the end of this video. But this I can give away. I think I'm making progress. Let's be real about life here. Decluttering is, is painful. <laughs> it can be very painful. It's rewarding when it's done, but it's a painful process. I just would love it if we could be really realistic about what we're using and what we're not. Okay. <laughs> this I've never used. This so we don't need this. Okay. But you do want to keep these. Yes. And then those. I think this should go. That's my personal take on the situation. Okay. Okay. When I need it. I'll have you go, I'll buy, go, to the first store and go get buy me a new one. I was pushing for my mom to declutter the crock pot, but she insisted on keeping it, which was fine, until she realized what I was trying to explain the whole entire time. Well, I'll get rid of this. It's like not functional. Like, here it is. It's really functional. Okay, get rid of the crock pot. I knew it. We're getting rid of the crock pot. <laughs> get rid of the damn crock pot. Calvin, you want a crock pot? What does it do? Yeah, I can get rid of that. We haven't used it. The reason why I was pushing to get rid of the crock pot is because it takes up so much space and I know that she was not using it and it hasn't used it for years and years. I haven't been able to get to them, so I gotta move these where I can get to them. Easier. That's what I'm saying. Let's get another little basket those can stand up in so you can grab it out easily. I'm sweating. Why am I so hot? There is so much that we are getting rid of right now that we saved from a few years ago when we did this kitchen declutter. More for the thrift store. Now, what about by getting rid of all these items, it really showed how much easier it is to organize with more space. Space you've gained yeah. and the organization that you've gained outweighs storing all this stuff, yes. I yes. think. Yeah. I've kept the things that were important to me. I didn't get rid of everything. <laughs> she kept the round cake holder. Why you're finally willing to let this stuff go? Because I haven't used a lot of it. <laughs> and I need the room up there 
yeah. for food and just, just to simplify. So I have photos all over the place. Photos plus other stuff in it. It's all photos in the same place. That's the goal. Okay, that was in the closet. It's very heavy. I'm going to take it right to the kitchen. That's everything from that room? Yes. So we're just gathering all the photos from all the different rooms that they've been stashed in. You're looking like you see something. I know, but I don't think that's it. No, that's that's other memorabilia. It's not photos. <laughs> okay, we're gathering everything. We're bringing it to one spot okay. to go through. Here we go. Here we go. My personal stuff. That's part of it. Photo albums. Not as many as I used to. Because I took them out and put them into baggies. You'll be rich someday with all these photos. Oh, all the dust just like flew out of there. Something. Oh, well. oh man, I just saw one that needs to go, an old boyfriend. We went on a lot of trips when I was younger and my mom went on a lot of trips with my dad and there are so many photos. Just so everybody knows, it's not easy to declutter photos. No. It's not gonna be easy. Crazy, I didn't realize I had this much. We're gonna take it all I'm, to the I always table. say this, I'm shocked. I'm <laughs> shocked, I'm always shocked. I'm shocked. The good thing is, because I didn't know you had this many either. I didn't know so this whole bin What was it shows full. is I'm really good at packing things together. I can concisely pack things you don't even know what I have, and then it's like, <clears throat> everything comes Very out. organized. It is. Now we got to get it all downstairs. But there's still more. Definitely do not start with photos, but we've been decluttering for so many years now that we're finally ready to tackle this. And what I'm going to be doing is just starting by getting rid of all the really obvious photos that we just don't need. Like a picture. I know I said a picture of a finger or a hand or a foot, but really we have photos of a cloud or, you know, there's stuff like that. We do. Photos of clouds. All right, I'm going to join you. <laughs> She's coming up the stairs. <laughs> We're bringing in a folding table up here so we can go through it. So I was looking, I found a bin and I found some of these little Ikea boxes. We could stand, yeah. we can stand photos in there. But also I found another box of photos. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're going to go through some of these. We'll put the year. We did a lot of racing at the Bonneville Salt Flats. So we have a lot of albums for that. So we're gonna condense those. That should be easier to do because they're all the same subject. It's when it gets into the personal life, kids growing up, that's when it's hard. So anyways, I've got a plastic bin and I made a card. I could put the year and the subject and stand them up and then do the next one and stand them in here. And I also found these Ikea boxes. I don't know if the pictures are going to fit. I guess they would standing up. Not sideways, but standing up, so at least it's something to put it in for now. If we don't need that, we'll just go through it together. Okay. Don't need that. No. 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 Dark no. shadows. No. No. All right. There was a cutout of Jeff Gordon, and here's my mom back in the day. My mom with Jeff Gordon. The cutout, the cardboard cutout. But yeah, well, you know, I was in my 40s. That was a wild time. <laughs> You don't really care what you do or say. I don't care about it. Okay, I'll keep both of those. Both. both. We don't need that. Look. Let's well, let me see. This is really. I don't know. They're both. They're both really bad. We've been working for about a half hour now, at least, on these <laughs> racing photo albums. So we went from all of these completely full albums to down to just this little stack. This little stack. I pulled up the ones that mean a lot to me, important. I put the dates, 1996, 2000, 2001, and I'm going to put them in this plastic bin. And I'll do that with a lot of my photo albums. And then you'll decide if you want to put them back into one yeah. big master album in the right order. Yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, we're going to get rid of all of this. And the albums are kind of ripped up a little bit yes. here and there. So after we pulled all the pictures <laughs> out, we ripped them up. But this of them are kind of yeah, funky can, anyway, yeah, and, they're they're and big and heavy, so I think we can simplify it. But yes, okay. All of this is going, which is crazy. Yeah. It's good. So that's all going. Yeah. And the bottom line is there's no way we're going to do all this today. There's just way too no. much stuff. We also pulled out a whole chunk of photos for family members. Yes. With them in it. So yes. we're going to give it to them, and they can do whatever they want with it. Yes. And I pulled out just a few of me for you for my, for my stuff at home and because you were the master keeper of all the photos and here's a trick 
when your daughter has different boyfriends as she's growing up show and, you, the boyfriend. and you and you put um, group shots you always have the boys stand on the end and then you cut them out and throw them away and you, st you didn't ruin your whole group shot don't let them stand in the middle I learned that from my mother-in-law the boyfriend stands on the end look and as you go through boyfriends adios boyfriend you're gone but it's still good <laughs> Okay, or so girlfriend. we're gonna go, or girlfriend, we're gonna go maybe through another batch. Okay. Yeah, okay. we'll pick a subject, but let's throw that in the trash and get it yes. out of here. So that's going in the trash. In, or re, we'll figure out what yeah. recycle, we don't know yet, yeah. but we're gonna get rid of it. Yeah, I'll take that down. It's going out. Down. Going down. I am keeping one album that was in really good condition and it made, meant a lot to me, so I am keeping it. It's a very thin album. And it was documented with wording you wrote yeah, down, yeah. and so that's perfect. Yeah, okay. This is all going. We're picking them out, we're getting them down. So here we go. Now we're going to, we had two different trips, and we're going to combine them to a little stack. It's funny Gosh. looking at the fashion, that's one thing. I really am getting like. Okay, your, your one friend that went irritated me, so I don't care about keeping a lot of these pictures. <laughs> My mom actually threw all her stuff off the balcony. If you're watching, you know who you are. You know who you are. This girl would not pick her stuff up. It's not you, Katie. Um, <laughs> oh, well, don't say any names. Don't say any names. Your name doesn't start with a K. <laughs> it's a different person. Anyway, she just would not pick her stuff off, off the living room floor. I kept saying, pick it up, pick it up, put it away. Look. I just grabbed all her stuff and threw it over the balcony and she had to go down three stories and go get it off the grass. <laughs> Don't mess with grandma. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> There's like pictures of me, dad, and she's just like, I don't care. Here we are at... Uh, I had such an attitude. Pearl Harbor. Every photo, my face is like... Pearl Harbor, I've been there. My so, butt. Someone's rear end. I don't know. <laughs> Literally, like, I'm climbing. on a cliff, and all you see is my <laughs> Here, let me get a picture of you climbing. <laughs> all you see is my butt. My okay. shorts. Just Who are Why you? am I wearing a sweatshirt in white? <laughs> you welcome. Somebody, please, when you're a teenager, you do these things yeah. that are cool. Oh, look oh. at that. What is that? Ew, it's a snorkel on. <laughs> You must show the people. All right, this is a fashion. Get really close with it, or it okay. Will... This is a fashion statement. Grant me with this night snorkel. From this to this. If you can believe it, we did all of this decluttering in one day. We did the kitchen decluttering and we also did the photos. We finally ended up getting to a place with the photos where we had to stop and then my mom took over on her own and just went through all her own personal stuff and is holding aside anything that is in question that I might want. I just look at it every time like, oh, what do I do with this? I'm back here with my mom, Kathy. And uh, well, we've decluttered most of the house or pretty much every room, every drawer. And so now I go in there and I guess I have the declutter bug, but I go into a cabinet or a drawer and I think like, this still has stuff I really don't need. And so I've been pulling things out and these are my napkins, cloth napkins, and a couple flower vase frogs. So I'm gonna keep those. This thing I bought at an art, one of those art fairs. So I've never used it. I'm gonna probably get rid of that. These I like, here's, Another There's two, two, two of those. those, yeah. And okay, what's over here? Trivets, hanging trivets. So tiles, tiles from Italy. So I think I'm going to keep these. But are they sentimental or they're sentimental okay. for me, my trip to Italy? Do you want to hang them somewhere? Well, I had them hanging in the kitchen, but it looked too cluttered. So <laughs> I have to find a place to keep these. <laughs> but I want to keep them. So. Well, let's right, think about it only because if they're in this drawer where you never see them. Yes. Okay. Maybe put them in your curio cabinet. Oh, that's a good idea. Stand I have them up in there. With my other tchotchkes. <laughs> my tchotchke cabinet. Now, okay. I want you to take, I know you love saving coasters, but this, one? this one's a longboard one. You can find at any restaurant, I okay. think. And this one is... They, neither of them are, are mine, so we could throw them away. Okay. I don't care. That's the whole point of this. I look at stuff and it's in there and I don't know what to do with it. So I close the drawer. Ta-da! Okay, we have some silverware here. This is the leftovers of a lot, and there's still a lot. Uh, but this is really, I picked through and these, these are things I wanted to keep or give to Shannon because she doesn't have that. Like whenever I go there and I go, oh, I wish I had a small 
gravy ladle other than this gigantic soup ladle, you know, when you have it on your table. And now you have it. Okay. <laughs> I can just use a spoon. All right. This will, to, in my life, this works just as good as the, but mm. I mean, it's up to you what you like. You go like this. You, okay. You put it in the jar, you stab it in there, get the pickle, and then you put it over your plate and you push down and it takes it out. Oh my gosh. So you don't have to go, uh, that stuff with the thing and then put it back in for somebody else. And for some reason I had bought backup spoons. Mm -hmm. Do you want them? Because seriously, I'm not teasing. Do you want them? <laughs> Do you want them? Because you guys are always out of spoons. I don't need these. Okay. I'll get rid of them then. I don't oh, need needy. them. Way too many. For two people, we've got a lot of silverware. So get rid of all these. Yeah. I use it every once in a while for I don't know what, but every once in a while I'll bring it out. It's just so... It's a spork. A spork? It's a fork with a spoon. <laughs> it's a spoon with a fork. But anyways, it's so cool because it's carved wood and it's like mid-century, so I'm keeping it just because... So we have of... a candle snuffer for the woman who doesn't do candles. Okay, I don't need that. Okay. Ding. What is this? This is a that's ladle, a ladle. that's... Heavy duty. Yeah, heavy it's when duty. you're when you have that big fireplace that you walk into and you got your <laughs> pot stirring, you pick up the ladle, you go, mm, that's some mighty broth we what have in, there. I don't know. What is that? Oh that's a this goes for people who eat meat. <laughs> it had a neck. Everyone. <laughs> Everybody but me. Anyways, this is one of it's just cool. You know, I keep some of these things because I think they're cool. I don't use it. But you have your big roast. Oh my gosh, that thing is scary. And and it has a wood, or it's actually bone. The handles are bone. Oh. You all know about those. You've probably seen those in your grandmother's stuff. But anyways, I can I can get rid of this. Now this is what this drawer looks like. Getting rid of all of this stuff. New drawer, new problem. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what do we have in here? Well, when we were all stuck at home for a couple years, I got orchids for all my friends and everybody. I ordered a whole flat of orchids. To... So anyways, these are orchid cups and I saved them, but my orchids are actually getting bigger. So I don't need these anymore. Actually, I'm going to save two because these have the plastic liners and I am going to transplant a couple. Those what about the oils? Yeah, keep them. Those are Christmas smelling oils. I mean, I know I don't use them very often, but once in a while, you know, someone cuts a big fart. <laughs> Zip. No. <laughs> Get that oil out. Okay. 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 So here we have... Everyone loves oil scented farts. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I need this. I probably don't need this. So these... I have a feeling no one's <laughs> ever used this one. No, it's, okay. still, it's still sealed and I don't know what it goes to, but... So you don't have that anymore? No. Uh-uh. All right. All right. We're clearing out. Boom. Maybe we'll look through the DVDs. Yes. And then mm -hmm. this is what this drawer looks like now. Amazing. Yes. I can't believe it. I can't either. Okay, we got all that paper to get rid of, and then all of this is going. And then I will take... Oh my gosh, this one is still in the plastic wrap. What is that one? My Big Fat Greek Wedding. A lot of these DVDs were actually my dad's, so we're just pulling them all out and making a large pile for him to go through and decide what he wants to keep and what he wants to get rid of. And we don't wanna make these decisions for somebody else, so we're letting him go through those before we get rid of them. All the ones that are in plastic wrap, I feel like you could just get rid of. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add these to the declutter pile because if they haven't been opened in yeah. 20 years. Right. Give them to the thrift store. Okay. I want you to see how nice my bathroom came out under the sink. So look at this. I have two of those plastic bins that you were giving away, and I have my towels, toilet paper, Kleenex, and cleaning supplies. Looks awesome. There was a time where this was stacked up to the top with so much stuff, I don't even know what was in there. I've been pulling towels out over and over and Got rid of so much stuff, it's so organized now. I love it. I have gone through it recently and cleaned a lot out, but there's still more. Okay. Or things might even be in the wrong place, I don't know. I, okay. I did go up there, I had miscellaneous light Nothing's bolts. up there now. Nothing's up there now. So. That makes sense, because you can't reach up there. No, I know. What's the point? So I had things I never used. Remember I had globes for parties and just glass, like glass over my head. So, so dangerous. I bought this rubbing alcohol for something, I don't remember what, but it's, it gr green? it's green, so it's really odd. I don't use it. Ammonia, Ugh. such a weird word. Okay. Sensing ammonia, these are at least 30 years old. I know they don't have expiration dates because 
Do you use that? I don't know what I used to use them for, cleaning something, but maybe I'll put them in the garage or put them all together. These are probably antiques. I could probably <laughs> sell them. <laughs> yes. yes, these will go in the garage on the shelf. Ant killer, you want that in here? Yes, because that's when I chase okay. spiders. That can go in the garage. Okay. But I have to have one. You know when that spider gets What in about the these matches? It kind of sounds like you don't even have much in there. Oh, do you use those? No. No. So what? in doggy. In 1996, we got a puppy. <laughs> and, and she still has the puppy pads. And I still have the piddle pads. <laughs> It's no, good. I don't think you're going to ever, if you haven't used it since 1996. <laughs> I have all kinds of ideas in my head for this, but I, you know, a towel, a towel, this corner. a towel does the same thing. I, I'm just yeah. going to throw it away because it's just cluttering everything up. Yeah, it just is in the way kind of yeah. really here. Then we have some masks. You yeah, might still good. need those. Yeah. My anti-mite. Oh. That also had to do with the dog. So I, it had to do with the dog. I have a funny story. So our dog would get baby birds that would fall out of the nest. So I got a baby bird once and I was out there in my pajamas holding it and I'm like, oh, baby bird, trying you to save it. it. Save the baby bird. All of a sudden, like later days, or come, I started feeling like things crawling on my face at night. Like, what the heck is that? I can add to this story. Mites. I, I can add mites. to this story. The whole house was infected so with mites. So we would get it. bug bites, yeah. random little bites everywhere. Yeah. And I would tell her, because I was living at college, I'd come home on the weekends, and I would tell you, you never believed me. I would say, I come home, I get the bites, I get the bites, little red bumps on me. Uh -huh. I go back to college, I'm fine, they're all gone, the bites are all gone. I come back home, and I get them again. And you didn't believe me at first. I know, and then I'd, I'd sleep at night and I'd feel something. Oh, yeah. You couldn't even see it. And then finally one day I put like a oh, magnifying glass and I could see this little <laughs> tiny thing. I'd go, the bird! A lot of random things. No, this is my box random. of random things. It's organized. <laughs> I've got them all okay. in the box. What in the world is that? These are, this is a, it was a gift. These are telescopic, telescopic marshmallow cookers for the beach when you're oh doing a bonfire. Goodness. One's for that oh. stove top. This is a stove top. At least this one. is all in one bin. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a bag of matches. So what do I do? Put, I don't know. These are really old. As we continued to go through this space, my mom pulled out more and more items that she said she did not need and thought she had already gone through this cupboard really well, and yet we were able to find a lot more getting rid of tea light candles she said she would never use and light bulbs that weren't going to anything anymore. The um, lamps had been replaced, and then she found these little organizing containers to keep everything corralled. Okay, so we have matches and tea lights and... Black light lights, bulbs, black lights, light bulbs, potty pad, potty pad, tape, tape. old, old tape that won't stick anymore. These are going to go in the garage because it, it, they don't belong in the house. All that okay. cleaning stuff. But all of this is going. Is going. Yes. Amazing. I know. Because a little bit adds up to a lot. It does. And I just look at it every time like, oh, what do I do with this? Put it back. Put it back because I never know what to do with it. So now we're getting rid of it. We're I'll never, putting it out now. Yes. I'll never think of it again. I don't need it. So yay, I knew we'd find something here when you came. I know. Because I Should just... we try more in your office maybe? <laughs> that was you, your hat. I know. That was Did your you hat. ever wear it? I have worn it once, but it's kind of big. <laughs> it's small on my head, I got a big head. I probably won't wear it. Mm -hmm. Here, you can have okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna declutter it because it doesn't fit my head is the problem. Mm -hmm. I bought it for kind of a costume and then thought, oh it's oh. so cute. Yeah. I'll keep it, but I always take it off because it's too yeah. tight on my yeah. own enormous cranium as she calls it <laughs> enormous bulbous cranium all of this in maybe 20 minutes yeah of going through some stuff i'm really shocked actually yeah i'm surprised really surprised because when we talked this morning you told me i don't think there's going to be much of anything yeah i thought a couple little vases but this is a lot. This is a lot. And it's stuff that I've been ignoring. Yeah. Bypassing because I don't know what to do with it. And so. you thought you already did these areas. So yeah. This is a really good reminder yes. to just open up another drawer, look through, yeah. and see. Sometimes yeah. you can grab one or two items. It makes such a difference. Yes. Power tip today would just be open a drawer and see what you can find. Yeah. All you need is one thing to get started. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's count dolls. 
what am I gonna do with my stuff? I yes, I'm surprised at how easy it is for me to let go of things. We're up to eight animals. There's nine, a, a link. I'm here at my parents' house with my mom, Kathy. Hi. And we are going to start going through all of the tchotchkes. Is that yes. what you call them? Yes, knickknacks, tchotchkes, collectibles. Let's count dolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16 or 17 dolls in this tchotchke cabinet. What do you want to do? Do you want to pull one shelf at a time or just the items you know you don't the like or want? The items that I want to remove from this because it's overly cluttered and I want to identify them so someday down the road. Oh, I have a good example. Let me, these little wooden shoes. Those were yours one day? Or like I used to wear them as a child when I lived in Holland. <laughs> I'm lying, okay. This has a little note in it, and it says, Hilma, that's Carl, that's my husband's mother. Hilma's mother, so Carl's granddad, grandma. Oh my gosh. Dad's mother's mother. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Great grandma. Great, great grandma. So that'd be my great, 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 great grandma. Great. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hilma's mother got these shoes at Oregon's World at Oregon World's Fair before 1904. So wow, now Those are it's old. Now it's 2023. 20, yeah, so that's a long time. So these are old, and she had put this little note in here. Uh huh. And I just keep it in there. So what do they mean? I don't know. Do they mean anything to you? Um, what do we do with this? They mean that they're old. I don't know. I know. So what do you do with something like this? That's the problem. So we have a lot of these types of things in our house, mm -hmm. and we can't save them forever because they're all going to go to you. I think you should pull out the things that you know you want to sell don't mean something to you maybe or have less meaning yes and then we can go from there maybe okay we spent the next few minutes just taking out everything that was super obvious to my mom that she didn't want those are cute for christmas but i don't know if Wait. i would keep them out all year long i don't have a cabinet like this <laughs> i know i know see that's just it i so i have to think of what to do with them i was there them. when this doll happened i don't think this means much of anything no you that could was... probably get rid of this that was Norway, yes. It was just, I was on the trip when you got yes, it. Yes, that was your doll. Okay, bye doll. It's just an empty box. I'll get to Japan later. Okay. We're, in, we're in Norway right now. That one can go. All right, this can go. I'm gonna relocate here. Relocate. To the thrift store. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to you for your wedding anniversary. <laughs> this is called the Piano Baby. And it was my grandmother's on her piano when I was little. I'm gonna hang on to that for now because I like looking at it. What about this? Are you keeping this? I don't need that. I got that in Australia. We used to travel. These, these boxes don't mean anything to me. Sorry. I mean, they mean they have memories, but I don't really care about the decor. <clears throat> when we're done with this whole thing, and this is the stuff you want to keep, it'd be cool to take a picture of it all yeah. and then draw little arrows out to each yes. item, and then you can tell us what it is. That I can and tell you. And if it has a history yeah. like the shoes. Because there's no reason for me to get rid of things I like to, at this point in my life. I can keep them. I'm not. But you can write if right. it has a history or not, and yes, I all that. Because you know. like the shoes, if we lose that little note, then this is from Japan, but it doesn't mean anything to me. It's... So this way, the things that I really like will stand out better too. Yeah. They're, those are my grandmother's too. I have a lot. Of, my grandmother had really cool stuff, in my opinion, when I was little, and, and when she passed away, I pretty much went, oh, I took it all. Yeah. So I still have those. Those are candle holders from Austria. Oh, well, I think this also didn't have a lot of meaning. No, that was, I, I bought that in Japan, but again, I don't need to display it. I still remember Japan. <laughs> Finding a new home for my things. Okay, what about this? Very cute. But I don't need I am it. Heavy? Yeah, it's super Whoa. heavy. It's a bust. It doesn't, it says, um. It turns out these busts are selling anywhere from 200 to $300 on eBay. These little dolls are very fragile, and they're the bisque. The are you gonna look them up to try to sell them? Yeah, I'll, I'll tr yeah I've tried before. Oh. Antiques Roadshow. There it is, that's the one. <laughs> and people say, this is worth a million dollars. Probably isn't, but I can, <laughs> there's, there's ways of taking photos, I think, and seeing what they're worth. But I would like these to go to someone who collects dolls and would appreciate it. That Not was you. I know, I know. Five minutes ago. <laughs> 16 dolls in there. Yeah, my worst fear, and probably everybody's, is that someone's going to come in here and just throw all this stuff in a box and throw it out in the trash because people have no idea if, if, mm -hmm. if there's value or anything. I mean, if I can share the information with someone in the family, then 
I feel like that is why it's Swedish death cleaning. Yeah, because for me, you are able to go through it yeah. for yourself yeah. and decide where you want these things to right. go. You make the decision. Plus, you're able to go through all these memories again yes. and say, "Oh, that was when we did this yes. and that," and and you get to enjoy the items and then decide if you want to keep yeah. it or not. I definitely want to deal with these because this kind of stuff is on my brain a lot. The older I get, can't get rid of this because oh, this princess. is the most. Start of the show here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I, oh, oh, golly. I made this in high school, I think. And yeah, wood yeah. cut. I don't know. You want to keep the it boys, The boys come over and they look at this. They go, Mom made that. <laughs> yes, I think it's really cool. Oh, I yeah. remember running through the airport. I go, I didn't get a doll in Paris. So I ran through the airport and found this in the airport. This is actually broken. Okay, I'll put this over here. Is not it that, you? It's not me. It's nobody I know. It, but I'm not that attracted to it. So I think I'm going to put yeah. it up for sale. Fan from Japan. You didn't even count these ones, did you? No. 18. <laughs> 18 dolls in there. It's a doll. It's a traditional Japanese did doll. Did you count this one? No. 19. <laughs> and this. Oh, what was that? What? Oh, you <laughs> scared me. The tassel scared me. I think we should pick out the things that we know, even though there's not a lot, that yeah. are going to be donated. Okay. I'll put those straight in a donation box. Okay. Because I still have the donations in my car from. Oh yeah. Okay. Where we can go and drop them all off. That has the bottle in it. Did yes. You, you don't care. Donation. No. Okay. I need the box. Big box. You said you have a box to put it in. It's a big box. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll get a. Then I'll just put it here. Okay. Do, yeah. Just put it there. Okay. Yeah. I think these are like a dime a dozen, but I understand if you want to give them to somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna save them for the boys. Not my house. I already have two. I know, but I, I have, have two in there. But I have boxes for the boys for when they get older. These things I'm gonna sell on eBay. You can give that away. Okay. So this can go. Yes. So we've really narrowed it down. Yes. So this stuff I will look up. Okay. And see what I can do. And this I'm gonna. I'll put this someplace special. In fact, I, I'm going to put this back in there. This yeah, is our, that's a cute our wedding picture. Yeah. An interesting thing. I'm going to keep this, but this is another, here, hold up. This is a little, another little note. Baby cup and saucer, 1906. Try to pass some of this stuff on. Well, you never know when we're going to end up in the old folks' home. We can't take all this with us. They give you one little room and a bed <laughs> and a toilet, and that's it. These are, you know, these are all really cool things people brought when they would visit from yeah, Sweden. Yeah, they're so cute. Here's another little so horse. I may save them to my You Swedish might friends. have as many horses as you have dolls. Possibly. Animals. I've got a bear, an elk, or a, you a, a cat. And two bears. A cat and an elk, two bears two and bears. a cat, plus a bunny and two horses. So, here's a wow. Box. Here's okay, a... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're up to eight animals. Here's nine. A, a lynx or a bobcat or something. Nine animals. This is the thing that all of us older people are dealing with. There's memories to all this stuff. Everything has a memory. So what do we do? Just keep it and pass it down? Yes, if you want to, you keep it and you enjoy looking at it. This is a little um, picture of my mom when she was little. So I will keep this, of course. This is the Bunnykins bowl. I'll try to sell this. I'll put it on the sale table. This is all from Australia from that little craft fair. Maybe I'll put them in the boys' gift boxes when oh, they're older. <laughs> I see this stuff coming to my house. What is this? Um, I don't need that. Easter, 1996. That probably has special meaning. I'll, or I, I can sell it. Actually, I'll try to sell it. Okay, it doesn't have special meaning after all. <laughs> well, this is when we went to... Where'd we go? What about this little bird? There's a little glass bird and another glass dog and another glass bird. Two glass birds and a glass dog. I think we have at least 30 animals in this. Okay, this is the animal section. My mom was just mentioning that we have actually been through this curio cabinet before and there was probably triple the amount of stuff in oh, here. Yeah. At least, it was full, just full. Full collection. You couldn't even see the glass bottom of the shelf. That's why I always say let's revisit areas over and over again because I feel you always find more things because maybe you're just looking at it from a different point of view. Yeah. A different perspective. Like you're getting rid of so much more that you probably would have never got rid of before. Yes. Two Kathy. 19, oh, two. Okay. 1971. Little that lady miniature was so sweet. painting. She was old in 71, so. That is really cute. 15, 16. So what about this? Oh, it's a cowbell. 
I could wear it around my neck. It's on one she side. She offended everybody last time when she couldn't read it and she said like, -de 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 -de. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I won't, I won't say it. Anyways, this is from Germany. Here's the magic lamp. You rub it and look inside it, it's a note. Found in Aunt Cora's house after tenants moved. Age question mark. Well, so Aunt Cora's been dead for probably 100 years. So it's something that someone just found. Paris, it says, I should try some. I've had it forever, so forever I must have it. Yes. <laughs> Is that what we do? You it's collect. easy to get rid of things that don't fit you anymore yeah. or you just bought and or if it's someone else's <laughs> yeah. it's really easy to get rid of just but it is hard when there's memories attached yes, to it and you got it somewhere yeah. and someone gave when, it to you what you think is this once you get rid of it you don't have it anymore and then you go like what if i want to look at it again but yeah i don't think i really care about looking at any of that anymore myself <laughs> That I know. None of that. None of that. All of this is the stuff she doesn't want to look at anymore. Get ready, thrift store. And all of this will be looked up and possibly sold. You okay. might have seen us here before, and we're back again with this same area. The piece of furniture, too, means something to me. Yeah. Because it was my grandfather's from the 1950s. He worked at Paramount Studios. He was the head of the music department. And... Back in, the, what do they call that show? The Mad Men. The Mad Men. They all had bars in their offices. Cute little glasses. But did they come with this whole thing? No. Oh, okay. No. These I are, feel I, like if they came with it, I would be like, yeah. let's keep no. it all together. These are just little glasses I would use for okay. like ice cream. and. You're thinking of getting rid of these? I like those. I'm going to keep those. Okay. I, I do use those once in a while. But these little ones. These I don't use. So we should take these out into the other room with all the other goodies. How do you feel about everything that we pulled out and you're gonna declutter? I'm excited about it. I, it's good to see the shelves that, I, and I can actually see what's in there now. And uh, I don't really have any regrets yet. And when people ask in the comments sometimes, why get rid of it? Why not just keep it? and then let somebody else deal with it. Because it's a burden on my mind, thinking where's it gonna go? I'm gonna eventually have to deal with it, and I'm gonna give it to someone else, you, that's gonna have to deal with it, and that's not nice. And I just, I go through my house now, and I look in cabinets and drawers, and, mm -hmm. and I'm just amazed at how little I have, and I don't miss anything, I really don't. A lot of the stuff I don't even remember what I got rid of, but I definitely don't miss anything. There's not one thing that I regret getting yeah. rid of, and we've done a lot in five years. Oh, a lot. And yeah. I have to say that there's a few reasons why I like doing this with you. So if you can do this with a family member, mm -hmm. number one, I like the fact that you can tell me some of the information mm -hmm. about things. I also, I'm you're giving me the option to take some of this stuff yes. if I want. And also, we are hanging out together and yeah. like laughing and having fun. Yes. And you're telling me stories of yeah. where we got things because even though I was maybe there as a child, I don't remember. Yes. Because as a kid, you don't remember everything. Yeah. Now, when I and said that one thing, you go, Oh, I remember that. I did. I remembered when yeah. you said that. Yeah. yeah that's I couldn't remember the country we were in, but I remember the store. Yeah. I remember we walked in and it was solid. solid. The whole store was yeah. trolls or Santa Claus looking yeah, little, little characters. Yeah. And I do remember that. Uh -huh. So it's kind of fun to jog See? your memory. Yeah, yeah. Good. Welcome back to my closet. <laughs> my mom, Kathy, called me this morning and said that you were switching around your wardrobe. Yes, from summer to winter, and I've come across a few things that I no longer want. I was going through my clothes and I said, yeah, come over and I'll show you what I'm gonna get rid of. Here we go. So I'm gonna Maybe move. Maybe we the... can even find more, you never know. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't touch my clothes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move these. These are all. Those are keeps, or you're I'm gonna. Ke I, I'm keeping these. These are summer. I went through summer already, and. Oh, okay. So this it's. So we're going through winter then. Yes. yes Got yes, it. Yes. Got it. Okay. I don't know why I thought we were going okay, through I'm, summer. I'm just gonna move it all the way to the back here. So I'll start with the going out clothes. I've had these two blouses, same thing. One's brown, one's gray, for at least 15 years. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get rid of the brown one because with my gray hair it doesn't look as good plus I haven't worn these probably for 10 years I didn't so. I do you remember those? I don't even remember no. those. <laughs> but I do have to say the little rhinestone-y things it's just you I know it's always 
<laughs> she loves the rhinestone. <laughs> so I'll keep one. It I screams your good. style. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so, so that's a keep, good one. Yeah, so you found that the brown is something you just don't like. I am always attracted to color, texture, and quirky designs when I'm shopping. Yeah. It's, it's not a good idea to do that. <clears throat> this one I've worn before, but I just put it on and it's very see-through. It doesn't feel good. I liked the texture at first, but now I don't. And I, don't, I haven't worn it Okay, but months. I do think you did get use, good use out of this. Because I, I remember it. you wearing it a lot. I, d I wore it, but I, you know, I usually keep things for 10 years. Yeah. This is going to go. This is probably two years old. So. And what do you think went wrong when you bought this? Just... I think it was deceiving me when I bought it off the rack. I thought it was going to be more sweatery, and oh, it's very see-through. It's very thin, so I'd have to wear a tank under it, tank top, and then the tank, it would cling up on the tank. It was just uncomfortable. Yeah, and, and it's probably too hot for summer, but too cold is. for winter. Right. It's and a, we live in Southern California. We, yeah. We, it doesn't vary a lot, but yeah. you do still need to have warmer things, That's slightly right. warmer in right. the winter. And then this, let's see. What do you think? Well, it's... you'll never be found. <laughs> <laughs> this speaks for itself. I don't know what I was thinking. It must have been on sale, and I thought, ah, oh, yes, but it, it doesn't fit right. They make them so low cut that... It, You're it, just more into the higher <clears throat> neck. I like a, more of a crew neck. Yeah. So anyways, well, these The good two... thing about finding the things that aren't don't work mm -hmm. for you, I, I feel it just helps you in the future when you go shopping yes. to not repeat the same problem yeah, over and I think over. So. so those two are going to okay, go. Okay, and this one. And that one. So we got three. And then also I, I w put this on today and it's kind of the same shape as the spotty one. It's really low cut and then it's kind of long mm. and it just, it's overwhelming. It just doesn't look good. I've yeah. put this on and taken it off so many times, so I don't even want to be tempted with it anymore. Yeah, and um, that's one thing I always say, which I'm sure if you've been around on this channel for a while, that anytime I put something on and I feel for any reason I don't like it and I take it off, instead of hanging it back up, I always just put it right in the decluttering bin because yeah. I think to myself, if there was a reason why I didn't want to wear it, yeah. uncomfortable, doesn't fit, there's no need to keep yeah. it. Yeah, and I've worn this all a few times and, and I was uncomfortable the whole yeah. time. I always have to go like this because cleavage and let me see, what else do I have in here? Now these two prints, it's funny, I like these. I don't know why, I like the colors. I think maybe because they have more of a white background. So I did find this blouse in my dressy mm -hmm. stuff and I thought, I don't know why I never wear it. It's actually, I put it on and it actually fits really cute. So. I'm moving it up and I'm going to keep it in my everyday stuff because it's really not dressy. It's just a blouse. Yeah. But I really For winter like with yeah. maybe black pants or yeah. something. Just put a vest. That's another thing I can point out. Another tip just popped in my head, which is don't, we've been through this before, this conversation, don't save your special clothes yes. for a special occasion. Just wear mm -hmm. them all the time. Like this dress, for instance, I wore this in one of my most recent videos yeah. and I had so many nice comments saying, oh, I love that dress. It's so cute. And I had been saving this for yeah. like a special occasion. Yeah. And now I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to just start wearing it. Yeah, There's see, no reason right. to save it. So right. four items here. I recently went out. I don't go out very often, but I wore my some black slacks. And I had two pairs of kind of wide legs. And this one pair, every time I put them on, I take them off and I don't wear them. I only wear the other one. So I'm going to... Get rid of this one. Okay. And then these <clears throat> pants, I have the same one on. They're little, I don't know, stretchy blue pants. But I'm wearing a 14. That fits good. This is a 16. Every time I wear it, mm -hmm. it would fall off just about. But I don't know why I kept it forever. I don't know. I think because I bought them, so I thought I'm going to keep them. So I'm just going to get rid of them. I think it's just best to keep what truly fits in yeah, the moment and then so. get rid of everything else. Yeah. I've recently done that with clothes that didn't fit that were a little too small. And I kept thinking... Oh, I'm going to keep them, I'm going to keep them, keep them. Yeah. And you know what? I decided it just, it kind of ruins your self-esteem to have clothes yeah. that don't fit. Right. And so these I love, but um, I don't wear heels anymore. Even though it's a pants shoe, it's, this mm -hmm. is going to go. Someone will like these. These are. What do you wear those with? Pants. They're, you know, they're probably. You don't think you'll wear them anymore? Or no. Or they're uncomfortable? 
I won't wear shoes this high heel anymore. Oh, okay. It hurts my feet. So okay, I'm gonna, got these it. are going to go. I think I wore them one time to one event. And I put them on now and they hurt. And I remember them hurting across my toes. Mm -hmm. So these are going. These I bought. These are like fake Uggs. I cannot get my foot into these. Fugs. Fugs. <laughs> That just popped in my head, you know? <laughs> Thick Uggs. I think we talked about decluttering these before, and I probably I've worn kept... those before. I know, I have too. It's <laughs> I been like... I borrowed those a few years ago. Well, you can have them if you want. Oh, They're boy. naturalizer boots, Let me but... stick a foot in here and see. These are falling apart. Oh, get rid of them. It's so right. hot in this closet, my It is hot. God. Okay, so I mean, we have good. six items. Okay. I also want to mention that if you need some extra inspiration and guidance to get started decluttering, I have an ebook all about the decluttering process I use to get rid of all the things that I no longer need. So I will link that in the description box down below. I'm also adding a 2024 planner onto that right now. So you can get all of that and the information about it down below in the description box. The other thing that my mom mentioned to me is scarves. Yes, I've decided to go through scarves. How often do you wear scarves? Never. <laughs> because that's what us seniors do. We wear scarves. I'm gonna start wearing I wanna scarves. just say something really quick. What? Because I hang out with you all the time. Yes. You always say that you're hot though, and then the scarf mm -hmm. is like too much. It is, and I'm very hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hear air blowing in the background, because we've put the little air blower thing on. I'll so. turn it off in a minute. Okay, so, so let's find the okay. scarves. I have two boxes of scarves that I never wear. Um, was looking through them, that's why. Anyways, we'll go through that one first. These are the ones that are going to go. All of them? The whole box? No, no. Oh. Just some of them. That one's going to go. We found this at a, a garage sale, I remember? Was, this looks familiar, but I don't remember where. Okay. It's a garage sale. Actually, I think it's one of those that we that we looked up and we could actually sell it. It could go with the shirt you have on now since you said you're going to start wearing scarves. I could try it. This is vintage. Vintage, a top hit fashion, Sar and Beards. It's. I think we looked it up before. Yeah. How do I look in this scarf? <laughs> Let's get, get my little I mean, sports like that, car. It's kind of cute. Uh, yeah. Mm. Ah, dying. <laughs> okay. So that one's going. A lot of them, you know, like this is to keep you warm. Yeah. But then there's other ones that and are more decorative. To keep you looking like a clown. And exactly. Warm. I think scarves have their place, but they have to be very specific with a certain outfit yeah. and they don't look good with just anything. I see women who look great in scarves and yeah. I'm always so impressed. And I want to yeah. wear them. It Who just was the work. lady on the stretchy. news that was always had a scarf? She was known for the scarves. I'm going to give away this turquoise one because I kept a beige one and a gray one. So I don't need this. Okay, that's it. I'm keeping the rest of these. These I've organized it. These are ones I do wear. Um, I got that in Hawaii. I'm going to start wearing it because I found a blouse to wear with this. <sighs> it's cute. It's I also feel if we lived in another climate, we would probably wear scarves more. Yeah, this is cute. I'm going to start, I'm going to make it a point to start wearing scarves. They add color and they also cover up all this neck stuff going on. I don't know what that's all about, but that's the purple one. Mm -hmm. Was I going to keep that? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think, think I Down there, it's bright. Yeah, I'm not a purple person. I'm more of a turquoise person. I don't know. I'll probably give this one away too. I, I, Maybe we should just look through this whole bin. <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is funny. We wouldn't have even known to get rid of that I if know. we hadn't gone through the bin. I know. Okay, I forgot so about it. So I'm good, glad we went through the bin. Good thing you went to, through the bin. Okay, okay, this, there was a time in the, oh, in the 1990s goodness. where beads were in. This is a beaded. Shawl. Shawl. Uh, yeah, like a, a shawl, like a, a collar type thing you put on a dress. That's pretty though. If you had a strapless dress. Oh, I wear that often. Not for you. No. <laughs> I'm saying in general, back when you were younger, when you dressed up. Yes. If you had uh -huh. a strapless, mm -hmm. say, velvet dress, yeah, black, and then did. you put this over your shoulders. That's what I did. I had yeah. A, I had a, yeah. So it's actually pretty, <clears throat> but I get that you don't need it anymore. I don't. You might want it. We have those belly dancing skirts. You I have to say though, in my everyday life right now, I just there's I don't even have the ability to go to an event like that. 
Yeah. You know, some people yeah. go to these events, but yeah. I just don't. My, so we're keeping all these. Yes, the last time I decluttered all those bras, I saved the ones I was using, but then I found, this is not an ad, I found the Spanx bra. It's a minimizer and I love it. So I have three black and three beige. That's what I use, but I kept backups of these just in case I didn't like the Spanx. And I have two I'm keeping, just in case. <laughs> You know me, just in case. And then I just was going through my drawers and I have a pair of legging type things okay. that, you know, they can go. I've got other ones. These can go, so I'm gonna will yeah. use them. And it's good to declutter things like that if you know you don't need it before the season so other people yes. can find it right. at the thrift stores. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then you had winter pants. So it was so funny because last winter there was so much snow in the mountains and I ran out and we bought- We never made it. I know, I ordered some and I got a pair of just winter pants, snow pants, and then they closed the mountains because there was so much snow you couldn't even get up there. Yeah, people got trapped up there. Yeah, they were trapped, that's right. Yeah, so, so we, we never made so it. So I bought the pants, I put them away, and then I totally forgot I bought them. And then I was in Costco a couple weeks ago yeah. and I said, oh, I need snow pants because we're gonna go again pretty soon. Yeah. So I bought a pair <laughs> of men's snow pants because they didn't have any ladies. And there might not be snow when we go, right. we're not sure, but it will be freezing cold. Yeah, it'll be so, cold. I'll definitely yeah. wear them. Okay. I pulled out the ones I bought last year and then I uh, was looking up in my closet. I go, what is that up there? And I see these up there that I just bought. So I'm going to take back the most recent ones to Costco and keep the yeah. first ones. That... You still the tags on them and everything. Yeah. They've never been worn. So no. Yeah, I'll just take them back. Those. But it's funny. You put stuff away and then forget that you mm -hmm. even have it. That's a really good benefit of decluttering is then you at least have a better idea of what you do have. Yes. It really yeah. helps with that. Yeah, it feels good. I feel like I know what I have, everything. I, there's no mysteries because mm -hmm. I, I this recently today yesterday i just kind of dug through everything yeah so I, I know everything i have what made you contact me today and just decide to get rid of more well i've been looking at things well i was trying clothes on and i just thought oh i don't want to keep putting this blouse in there and then i started thinking about everything else and when i was looking through stuff to go to the mountains i noticed things i thought i probably have quite a few things to get rid of and then I, so then I, it led me to the scarves and it, yeah. one thing led to another, you know, a lot more here than yeah. I expected. I'm shocked <laughs> as I always say, because <laughs> you, when you called me, you said, oh, I only have a few items, a few uh -huh. t-shirts, a few things. And this is a lot in it my is. opinion, because yeah. you already decluttered so yeah. much. So. Nothing here I will miss, not a thing. I find with getting rid of a lot of things, I'm able to condense things into like a drawer that might have been three different drawers that's now in one drawer and yeah. you know stuff like that so it helps you organize yes too. organize i see what i have we're decorating my house for christmas today and decluttering all right we're going to get the christmas bins down so we can decorate for christmas i'm down to three bins and one tree we've been decluttering the last couple of christmases <laughs> it's really heavy let me okay see. let me help you bin number <laughs> Bin number, number one, one. yay! <laughs> I can't believe you only have three now. I know, I used to have, what, six or seven of them? We'll just stack them yeah. on top of it. Here's the tree. Number three, yay! All right. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. As we open the bin, should we look through to possibly find something sure, to sure. declutter? Yeah. Possibly. Maybe. Yeah, you never know. She's kind of anti. Go. She said she's been through <laughs> this before and does not need to declutter anymore. Yeah, you know me. I'm very reluctant, but I'm sure I'll find something. I'm thinking of not using my hallmarks, maybe a few of them, and doing more colorful balls. And I might even go out and buy some um, candy canes because I like candy canes. Buy something. <laughs> I might buy something. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, you never know. This guy might be one of the people that, or one of the things that leave because I don't know. Do you not feel on him? I never really have felt him. Okay, so we're keeping these? Yeah, I'll go put them. towels? Okay. I'll go put them in the bathroom. It says open other end. 
I opened up both ends. Uh -oh. As we're decorating here in my parents' home, my mom told me that her goal was to pay attention to what she was sick of using in the past and what she didn't think she would use this year for decorations, and that would be what she would declutter. So as we're pulling things out, that's what we're looking at, and we're thinking of what we'll use and what she no longer wants. I'm really thinking of getting... Um candy canes. I, lo okay. I love them on the tree. And the good thing about a candy cane is like you're watching TV, you feel like a snack, you go over to the tree and you eat one. <laughs> the kids will love it. I have a bag of woodland creatures too. Okay. Birds. Woodland thing. creatures. I love it. Yes. I'm gonna so are we going to do woodland creatures or more like disco balls? or? Well, I think or... the, the little, these little critters and then the colorful balls and see. And then, Does then that go together? Yes, they do. Everything goes. It's just pew, throw it on and it sticks. It's good. I love it. I'll put them in the maybe pile. To get rid of. Yeah, maybe to get rid of. Well, I just said, where are you going to put these? I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. And then you them. found a Christmas card from past years to get rid of. Yes. Okay. You've been looking at this for the last few minutes. And yes, what? I, I put it on the hearth and it's pretty much the same color as the hearth. And I'm not really thrilled by this Santa, so since I do want to continue to reduce my Christmas decorations, I am going to get rid of this now and give it to the thrift store so they can sell it for Christmas. Yeah, he's in good condition yeah, too. Yeah, he is. He so. is, but I, you know, he's he's never really flipped my switch. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I think all these little tchotchkes are going to go. Yes, too. yes. I really, the goal would be to reduce to two bins, wouldn't that Ooh, be nice? Ooh, that would be really cool. All right. Maybe we could do it. I don't know, though. Uh, we'll see. When Christmas is over, when we put it back together, that's when I'll... Well, maybe we'll find some more things today. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, what about yeah. this guy? Oh, yeah. A little soldier. Toy soldier. This is a vintage... Elf the on Elf shelf. on the Shelf. But you know what? This chair... Uh-huh. I don't really need. What about this Santa's North Pole box with another box inside of it with something inside here? Oh, oh my gosh, that the hooks? that's the hooks. Those really? Are... What? Do you need all that? This this holds this, which holds the hooks. Well, I, you know, you condense. This but do you need big. this? Because this is what's making your bins big. Yeah. <clears throat> I suppose I don't need all these boxes. And this little angel is from 1956, the year I was born. That's I'm sure cute. some people out there have the same angels. What about these? Oh, I don't care about those. Okay, these can go. Woohoo! And need, the box. I need the box to save one box. Room. I know, but I, boxes. I don't have boxes. I just took for all the what? boxes. This up. was in here, though. I know, but if this was in here, then what's the box for? It's logic. Logic. I need boxes sometimes to wrap gifts in. Never. Yes, okay, this box this is a good one. That's what, but we're, then it's not going to fit. Okay, we're, we're trying to get rid of a bin. Okay, okay. All so right. So get rid of these. Wow, I can't believe it. This is her choice, by the way. <laughs> not mine. Oh, we got this. Oh, yes. How are we feeling about these? Oh, with the matching candles that you will never burn in your house. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a carrot nose. Know, a carrot nose. Okay, we both did the same thing. I <laughs> know, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's so funny looking. Cute, huh? Funny. I'll give them away. I might, my goal is to really simplify, so I need to part with these things. Bent candles. Cute little guys, but someone, I'll get them to someone right away. There we go. And here's a piece of art that I did way back in the day when I was in... I think high school. Yes. I have found these two little elves. So I'm going to put them out. And this little teddy bear sleigh that my mom made. <laughs> or some of the ones you always scared me. <laughs> I thought you were in the other room. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because this is from when I was a kid. Yeah. I'm saving that because yeah. I made it when you were little. It's cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven of us. us. Yep. That's all of us. That's it. For now. No. <laughs> yes, for now. Here are a wreath hanger. Need that or not? <sighs> Probably not. Okay. 
I think we talked about this one last year. This time I'm going to get rid of it. One of the bins is completely empty, so hopefully... When I put it back, hopefully when we put it back... Yeah, we won't, we'll try not to put anything in this bin. Okay, we'll see what we can That'll do. That'll be the goal. Okay. There's a shelf in the hall that I want to reorganize and declutter a couple things. Okay. And so we can do that now. Yeah. I'm not one to change things around very often, like years. But I have these two little hula girls from Hawaii. And this one's skirt just kept shedding, so I cut her skirt off. So I'm either going to, I'm probably going to get rid of her. I was going to make her a sarong. <laughs> You know, and then here's this one. This one's fine, but I'm gonna definitely put away all this beachy stuff. Hawaiian but you stuff. mentioned to me that you were probably gonna possibly declutter these. Yes, actually, I threw them both in the trash, and then I dug deep down in my barrel and I pulled them back out because I felt really bad for them. So I haven't decided, but I think I'm gonna get rid of these too. But at least get rid of the one that. <laughs> Wouldn't she look cute with a sarong? Isn't that funny? It looks like she's floating. Okay, so then I want to pull, I'm going to pull all this stuff out too. What started it was, I take art classes and I paint, I made a painting that I really like and so I wanted to put it up, but I thought I just need to move everything and make a change. Something like that. I might put something else there. I counted up 18 items yep. that my mom is willing to part with. <laughs> amazing but true I am I say this every video but I am shocked <laughs> because before I came over here I kept saying I wonder if we'll find some stuff to declutter and you kept telling me no way no <laughs> you said there's no way I'm getting rid of anything yeah. I've already decluttered everything I know I did last year and now I changed my mind getting rid of more you have three medium-sized mm -hmm. totes yeah. boxes and this takes up so much space yeah. and there was nothing in these boxes yeah. and then all this bulky stuff that you don't use every year yeah. and I mean I think like you said you're kind of tired of a lot of it yes and you're not using it anyway yeah I just feel like I've had these therefore I have to keep them I've never really cared for them and try to figure out oh it just adds color but it's really nothing that I like a lot. When we first started the video, you mentioned you used to have, what, eight boxes or something? Yeah, at least. I mean, it would fill the whole hall. Yeah. From beginning to end of the hall, stacked, I mean, I think eight boxes yeah, or so. Yeah, I did. I had a lot of boxes. I'd get rid of one box a year. Yeah. Or two boxes, you know, I just really whittled yeah. it down to three. So maybe we can do two Yeah, this and time. I think... I just see you transitioning to less and less decor on your own, uh -huh. wanting less in here. Yeah. And even when I say, oh, I'll come over and help you decorate, and a lot of the time you're like, oh, not too soon, I don't want too much, <laughs> and, and then we're not even using a lot of the things yeah. that are still in the boxes. Yeah. I go through spurts where I get lazy, and probably I could just put a poinsettia up there and be, ah, there's Christmas. Yeah. Because I go to your house for Christmas, yeah. so it doesn't matter. You know, I'm not having parties, and I try yeah. to keep it simple. The more I put out, the more I have to put away, so. And I think of that, too, now. Uh-huh. It's surprising. I never <laughs> thought about that before, but this year, I did think... The more I decorate, come <laughs> January, the more I'm going to have to organize, yeah. put away, clean up. That's and right. that is something to think about. Yes, it is. When you want to simplify. Yes. It really... Yes. So are you happy about this? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you for helping me decorate. And it's always nice yeah, to have you fun. come over and do it for me or with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think... Just mentioning getting rid of a few things, and uh -huh. look what you found. I know. It's lot. funny when you say declutter stuff, I'm always reluctant at first. And then I think about it, and think about it, and then all of a sudden I think, like, do I really need that? It's almost like, don't tell me I can't have that. <laughs> I'll keep it forever. But And it's a stupid mentality for me to have, but I, sometimes I do. It's just a habit. Very defensive of my junk. Yeah. So. And somebody can use all these things. Yes, so. and now's the time to do it before Christmas. I've just decided I'm going to get rid of this one also. It's so old, it's falling apart, and you're right. It takes up a lot of room. Okay, goodbye, little snowman. It's been fun. Yay. Do you feel sad about it? No. I've lost all feeling for getting rid of stuff. It doesn't matter. <laughs> really. I enjoy my house being less cluttered more than I enjoy 
the stuff. So I have to remember when I have a simple life and, and not junk everywhere, it's really nice feeling. Better, better than the stuff. This is going. We're gonna discuss 10 ways your mindset has shifted since Swedish death cleaning. That's right, I'm gonna show you my house and show you what I've decluttered and talk about it, so. And what's changed. Yeah, a lot. My parents have been Swedish death cleaning and decluttering for the last four years at least. Yeah, at least. Yeah. And I have quite a few videos uh, with us Swedish death cleaning and what Swedish death cleaning is. So I will link those down below in case you're interested, but we're going to focus on the 10 things that have changed okay. significantly and your way of thinking has changed as yes. well. Yeah. You invited me over to talk about that. I did. It started with clothes. I said, come over and look at what I got for summer yeah. to replace the clothes that I have been decluttering over the last you know, season. And prior to that, a lot, but just to replace last summer's clothes. And just this morning, you told me that you found even more I, to declutter. Yes, I have a whole pile of stuff that I found shocking. I didn't expect. I thought I'd just clean the bathrooms <laughs> out and my clothes, and I found a whole bunch more. Yeah, wow. I know. That's <laughs> good. I'm a declutterer. I decluttered about seven items right here unexpectedly, but I only shop now to replace the same number of things or less than the items I've decluttered. I don't want to get over, I don't want to get my closet all packed up again with extra clothes I don't need. That's so, a huge mindset shift. Yeah, it huge. is. Yeah. Oh, it is. My closet, I can't even believe how empty it is. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> but the good thing is you only have the things that you really love yes. in there and you wear. Yes. Everything I have now, I wear. I don't put anything aside for special occasions or things that don't look good. They're gone. I only have what I wear. So I can grab anything out of there and I'll have a pair of pants to go with the shirt. But anyways, I have a couple wild shirts that I can wear with shorts or pants. And another huge mindset shift you mentioned was you're no longer keeping the just in case yeah. items. You start off, you're 30, you're 40, then you're 50 and 60. And when you get 60, and you don't wear nylon socks with high heels anymore. So, but you keep them just in case one day you might need them. Is this all your socks or you have a whole nother batch somewhere else? <laughs> Yeah, there's no ball gowns in here. There's nothing. There's no boho tops with all the stuff that I never wear but buy because I'm so attracted to it. And that was your fantasy self as well. Yes. You uh -huh. were buying stuff yeah. because you thought one day I might go on a ship vacation yeah, and I yeah. might need this. And... Right. I just look at clothes and I think they're beautiful and I buy them. I bought a skirt once that was so pretty. It had eyelets and embroidery. It was a big white skirt and I'd just hang it here and look at it like you look at a piece of art and so finally I had to get rid of it because there was no blouse that went with it. It looked terrible but it was such a pretty skirt. So. Yeah. And I asked Shannon if she wanted it and she wouldn't take it. Because <laughs> it would have been the same problem yeah, for me. Yeah. You can't wear it. But honestly your so mind has just I changed. quit doing that. I yeah. quit doing that. I don't buy that anymore. It's so freeing for my brain too. I know what I want. Pick up and you've organized it to where you keep the summer stuff yeah. where you can get at it quicker mm -hmm. and then the winter stuff back out yeah, of the way. Yeah, put away. Since yeah. we're in summer now, you just yeah. shift it when yeah. you change that's seasons. What I do. Move up. I'm no longer buying things on a whim like this dress and these pants. So another mindset shift is looking at the same places that I've already decluttered, which I did today. I was looking through makeup and I thought I would look for one certain one and I looked underneath and I found all these things I don't even need. One is this mirror I've held on to, a mirror in a box, another mirror, a little compact mirror. And these makeup bags. I had just decluttered this bathroom. Three makeup bags, not being used, very old. I don't need them. It feels so good to have them gone. I have so much room now. So anyways, and then... I went into the other bathroom. Travel bags, makeup bags. I, I have already what I use. I don't need these. I don't know why I've been storing those, but I don't need them anymore, and I'm gonna get rid of them, so yay. So what I do now is, when I'm in a room, I just look through it really quickly and see what I've missed to declutter, and I always find things. I can't even believe it. Oh yeah, another thing I found in there, this mirror. I know it's a vintage, but I never use it, never looked at it. I think it was my grandmother's, but it's been living under a sink for years, so it's going to go. Someone will love it and use it. Another mindset shift that I've done when it comes to my clothing is I've adopted kind of a uniform. All the tops go with the pants. I could just grab anything, 
they all go together. A few months ago, I came over and my mom and I went through this whole cupboard and yeah. decluttered so much stuff. Yeah, we did, we did. And you were a little resistant yeah. at the time. And then, what, what now? What do you so now? So now I have so much room in my storage cabinet. It's food and it's, you know, some kitchen supplies. But, I mean, my shelves are empty and <laughs> almost, and I don't feel like I have to run out and just pack it all. I buy food when I need it, and but I just don't have backup. And so I have a lot of space. I don't feel that overwhelming clutter. I just go in there and get what I want, and I can find it. It's just right in front of me. You just mentioned to me another mindset shift is yeah. if you have empty spaces, you don't feel as if you need to yes. put stuff in there. No, I actually love the empty space. It's so easy to see everything and grab it and put it back. Not, you know, if someone else put something in there when you were gone, there's no room for anything. You have to move everything around. There's now there's space for everything and it's it's a really good feeling to have open space in the your The nice thing too when I look in there is I can see to the back. You couldn't see to the back oh, before. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and there's a lot of room. Yeah. Everything's up to the front. There's no things hiding back there that you have to pull everything out and dig around. It's just right there. That's a huge yeah. shift yeah. way of thinking. And it yeah. took me a long time to get to this point. <laughs> yeah, which is good though. Yeah, I, I know. Mean, it's been a slow process, but I think yeah. the transformation is huge. Yeah. Talk about this landing. Okay, another mindset shift I've done is I don't put a bunch of decor in my house. It's Here's some pictures. This used to be just stacked with vases and flowers and... Tchotchkes. Yeah, tchotchkes. Yeah, I had a tchotchke area, but... No more, and it's, I love seeing the simpleness of simple decor and not too much. Less. Less. Way, less is better. It's probably easier too if you want to wipe that down oh, yeah. at any point. You don't have to move everything you know, once, in. Once a year I wipe it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Honestly, it looks better yeah. as well. And I look at other people's houses now sometimes and I go, whoa. I'd love to get in here with a box and clear it out. See? They would be so happy. So I know how you feel now when he would come over here and you go, ah, there's I never stuff anything. No, I know, but you would look and you go, how about we move that? I go, no, don't touch it. It's mine. It's mine. But now I've changed the way I feel. I don't, I don't have that feeling anymore that I have to keep everything out. Most of the stuff I move, I get rid of because I'm not going to have it out and I don't miss it at all. If you look at these old videos, I had a lot of stuff, especially in the other room, and it would just, it would make me insane. I'll put some pictures if I can yeah. find them up there, what it used to look yeah. like, because even though some people might say this is still a lot, yeah. it's really nothing yeah. compared to what you had. Yeah, it, it's stressful when you have too much stuff. You keep thinking like, what am I gonna do with this? And what am I gonna do with that? Yeah. Who wants this someday? I don't know, so. And it becomes part of the background as well, where you don't yeah. even notice. Yeah. It's not like it's bringing you joy to right. have it there. It's just no. like a, background. Okay, so the other thing that I stopped doing is buying tons of backup stuff. Creams, deodorants, soaps. I used to have every cupboard full of that. Now it's like if I'm using a deodorant, when it's halfway down, I'll go buy a new one. And my therefore my shelves are emptier and it's just a lot better. I don't have you're not storing I'm it not so storing much. it and a lot of times you buy stuff like oh I've got to get a bunch of that and then you don't like it anymore then you're stuck mm -hmm. with all this stuff and then you never get rid of it just in case you just yep. might need it so my husband so. actually said something which was shocking is he said I'll let the store store the items for me ah uh, you can believe that yeah that's <laughs> that's really thoughtful so wow. we're all changing our yes. mindset <laughs> Yes, it's easy to get. You just get it when you need it. Yeah, and you still keep enough to if there was an emergency, yeah. and food and yeah. that kind of thing, but just less in general. Yes. And I've been yeah. doing the same thing yeah. as well. It's Another mindset shift that we were discussing yeah. is how my mom never gets threatened anymore or angry about the thought <laughs> of decluttering. I'll help you. Let's see. Oh no, you're not helping me. <laughs> she doesn't want my input on what to keep. <laughs> old stuff, yeah. I would be very protective of my old collectibles and family heirlooms and things that I've been storing and hoarding. So now I, I don't have that feeling anymore that I have to protect them. If it's not good for me, I just let it go, give it to someone else who will enjoy it, and I, and I don't think about it ever again. So yes, that threat, and I know a lot of you are feeling threatened when someone comes in and says, do you really need five sets of china? Yes, they were this person's and that person's. It's a good feeling you'll come to that point where you don't feel threatened anymore, and that's where I am. Especially when you get into the habit of decluttering, yeah. and I think seeing the benefits of it. Oh yeah. 
and that weight that's been lifted off and yes. all of that. So I know even some people get threatened with decluttering videos. I get comments sometimes oh, yeah. that, why are you getting rid of that and yeah. this and that? And I think it's just because maybe they haven't arrived at yeah. that spot where yeah. they're ready to let go. Yeah. And I think that that's what Swedish Death Cleaning actually did for you yes. after reading that book and, and realizing that you don't want to leave all this stuff to me because I'm probably just going to throw yeah. it away. <laughs> <laughs> rather get it to somebody who wants it now because I I don't need all this stuff and I I don't have any use for it so it's time for me to pass it on to somebody family members yeah other people I don't know just let them have it and yeah. enjoy it yeah and you wanted to do it at this point oh yeah I don't, I've, I've read so many comments on here about people who have had their uh, parents pass away and leave them with just nightmares of you know extra stuff. attics and basements full of stuff that they can't even deal with so I don't want to do that to you yeah so I'm doing and luckily it. your dad didn't really do that to no you. my dad he had was gone through everything oh yeah he and was it, like the ultimate minimalist yeah he was <laughs> he just throws stuff in the trash I'm like no so he didn't think about it he just was just a natural minimalist yeah he yeah. just didn't want the extra yeah. stuff yeah which it's was so funny that was nice for me not to have to deal with that yeah, yeah. here goes the boxes boxes. She'll be digging that out later. <laughs> when I got here, you told me that decluttering is it, contagious. Yes, it is. By me decluttering, my husband got inspired and he went through all of his clothes, as you've seen in the videos, and he went through his office, pictures, just stuff he never used, but he kept, for some reason, shoes. So he definitely is on board with decluttering, and, it's, and it makes him happier, too. He's, his life is way simpler and manageable. And yeah, it's just so. been ins inspiration he's yeah. gathered from yeah. watching us declutter and yeah. even watching my videos yeah. and watching you declutter and seeing how there's so much space and yeah. it's organized better and everything just... Yeah, and I've ha even had friends who haven't even said anything to me but probably know what we're doing and have seen maybe a video or two that say something to me like, oh, I just cleaned my garage out or, yeah. or I'm getting rid of stuff and... and it's probably unintentional and don't even relate it to it, but it is, it's, it's contagious. You just yeah. see someone else doing it and you get inspired. So I hope this I is I think that's why some you. people watch <laughs> oh, the yeah. channel is because they get that decluttering motivation, inspiration. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And we've even been called by a few family friends and stuff to go and help them yeah. declutter at their yeah. house and, and just talk through items and yeah. help them let go of stuff. If you wanna know more about Swedish Death Cleaning and how we used it to declutter my parents' home, I have a video that talks about the differences between decluttering and Swedish Death Cleaning and what it is, and I'll link all of those videos down below in the description box. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you in the next video. Your, your battery. Okay. Battery. The battery's always dying. I always. see it flashing. These are Oneida, so. The ones I use are the um, which might have might have What about tchotchkes on here? All good? Yeah, I know there's a lot. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Okay, so Ooh, that scared me. Oh, what was it? Carmen San Diego. <laughs> hey, we're in the closet again. The battery's dead. Oh, crying! Did you bring one? Why don't we crouch down and we'll pop up and be like, we're decluttering today. Okay, ready? My back got stuck on the hangers. Uh, okay, start over. <laughs> We're, We're decluttering, decluttering the closet, closet again. <laughs> oh, I'm filming on accident. Hold on. We have decluttered this area before. <laughs> da da. Better than the good one. This is Kathy's old stuff. Oh, it's a, a turtle. turtle. A blurry turtle. A blurtle. Look. <laughs> I'm getting worn out, people. <laughs> She's wearing me out. I'm gonna have to take a nap. <laughs>